Hi, in this video, I will provide the overview of JDBC. All right, so we'll cover the following topics. First, we define what is JDBC. Next, JDBC API. And next, we will see the JDBC driver types. And finally, we'll see the fundamental steps that are required to connect Java application to the database. So what is a JDBC? So JDBC stands for Java Database Connectivity. All right. And it's an API that provides industrial standard and database independent connectivity between Java applications and the relational database servers. All right. So the, the relational databases like uh, MySQL, Oracle, Postgres, uh, you know, Microsoft uh, SQL Server, DB2, etc. And the spreadsheets like Excel sheet and the platforms like CSV files. So we can use a JDBC API to connect Java application with these relational databases, thread sheets, and flat files. All right. So here you can see the diagram. Here it is a Java application and the database. And we use JDBC API to connect Java application to the relational database. All right. The major databases are supported such as MySQL, Postgres, Oracle, Microsoft SQL Server, DB2, and many others. All right. So in further lessons, I will demonstrate you how to use a JDBC API to connect Java application with MySQL database. All right. To keep it simple, JDBC allows a Java application to connect to the relational database. Perfect. Now let's have a look into the JDBC API. So JDBC API is comprised of two packages, java.sql, javax.sql. All right. So we automatically get both the packages when we download Java from the official website. All right. And JDBC API consists of two parts. All right. The, the first part is, so JDBC API is a part of Java packages in java.sql package. So we use java.sql package api for processing and accessing data stored in a data source using java programming language all right and the second part is the jdbc driver so a jdbc driver is a set of java classes that implement the jdbc interfaces targeting to a specific database all right and jdbc interfaces comes with a standard java but the implementation of these interfaces is specific to the database you need to connect to. Such implementation is called a JDBC driver. For example, if you want your application to connect to the MySQL server, then you should have to configure MySQL JDBC driver. All right. And if you want your application to connect to the Postgres or Oracle, then you should have to configure a JDBC driver for that specific database all right so that is the jdbc driver and jdbc driver it provides the implementation for jdbc api so jdbc api it you know exposes the interface all right it doesn't provide any implementation perfect right so this is the main feature of jdbc because it is a standard api so you you just develop your application code using jdbc api uh, to you know to connecting to the various various databases there is no need to develop a code for different databases so that's the main advantage of jp uh, sorry jdbc so jdbc is just abstraction and uh, you know you can provide a multiple implementations like if you want to connect to the mysql then you can you can use just jdbc driver of mysql and if you want to connect to the oracle then you can just use the oracle jdbc driver implementation all right and when you provide a SQL statement to the JDBC driver, it simply passes the SQL to the database. You can make use of SQL to perform select, insert, update, and delete operations. All right. Let's have a look into this diagram over here. So notice here it's a Java application. So Java application can connect with any databases it can query or update the database and it also receive the results from the database all right and here it is a jdbc api 
it contains a JDBC driver manager and JDBC API it exposes interfaces all right and here are the JDBC drivers uh, specific to the particular database for example JDBC SQLite driver for SQLite database JDBC Java DB driver for Java DB database and there can be a JDBC MySQL driver for MySQL database Postgres JDBC driver for Postgres database Oracle JDBC driver for Oracle database all right so all these database vendors have their own JDBC driver all right so they provides their own implementation for the JDBC API all right so as I mentioned JDBC API it comes with the Java package all right and whenever our Java application wants to connect to the particular database then we need to configure a JDBC driver for that particular database all right so notice here the flow like Java application uses a JDBC API to connect to the particular database using JDBC driver all right Hey, here are the important uh, interfaces and classes that is provided by JDBC. For example, connection statement, prepared statement, callable statement, result set, result set metadata, database metadata, driver manager class. So notice here, except driver manager, these are the interfaces. All right. So so you may you might be wondering where is the implementation for these interfaces. All right. So as I mentioned. JDBC driver provides an implementation for these interfaces. For example, if you want to connect to the MySQL database, then MySQL database vendor provides their own JDBC driver. All right, and this JDBC driver provides the implementation for these core interfaces. All right, so I will explain each interface with an example and how to use these interfaces in our Java application uh, to connect to work with them, um, you know, different databases. So I will demonstrate to you everything in you know, upcoming video tutorials. Now let's have a look into what is a JDBC driver and what are the JDBC driver types. All right. So as I mentioned, JDBC driver is a set of Java classes that implements a JDBC interfaces targeting a specific database. The JDBC interfaces comes with the standard Java but the implementation of these interfaces is specific to the database you need to connect to such an implementation is called a jdbc driver for example if you if you want to connect to a mysql database then you should configure mysql jdbc driver all right and this mysql jdbc driver provides the implementation for jdbc interfaces and one more example is uh, if you want to connect to oracle database or any kind of relational database all right so they they offer their own jdbc driver and uh, the jdbc driver provides the implementation for jdbc interfaces all right let's have a look into the jdbc driver types there are four different types of jdbc drivers type 1 jdbc odbc bridge driver type 2 java native core driver type 3 all java middleware translation driver type 4 all java driver all right so let's have a look into briefly each of these types all right so type 1 jdbc odbc bridge driver so so this driver this type of driver are generally dependent on the native library and which limits their portability all right and this driver the type 1 driver is not supported by oracle all right and type 2 java native code driver so this type of drivers are generally written partially in java programming language and partially in native code all right and these drivers use the native client library specific to the data source which they connect so again because of the native code uh, their portability is also limited all right and type 3 all java middleware translation driver so this this type of drivers uh, use a pure java client and communicate with the middleware server using a database independent protocol all right and middleware server then communicates the 
client's request to the data source. So it is not directly connect to the data source. It uses a database independent protocol. All right, and type four on Java driver. So type four drivers are the pure Java and implement a network protocol for specific database, database or a data source. And the client directly connects to the data source. For example, MySQL connector is a type four driver. All right. So this is all about uh, you know uh, different database, different uh, JDBC driver types. All right. Uh, how to install a JDBC driver? So if you have a Java application and if you want to use, uh, uh, if you want to connect to a particular database, for example, MySQL database then you need to configure a JDBC driver, right? For that particular database. Then how to how to install a JDBC driver for MySQL database? So first of all, you need to download a JDBC driver from you know, MySQL uh, official website and you need to, uh, you know, you need to add a MySQL JDBC driver in a class path of your Java project and then you are good to go, all right? So you can, then you can connect to the MySQL database and you can you know perform uh, different database operations 